homosexuals that were outed before you were ready to come out. What happened? How did you deal with the aftermath? My dad caught me looking at some naked dude pictures online when I was 17. I said I like wieners, now you know. He thought I was joking, but came around a couple hours later and it was okay. This is just such a lovely little island of happy in quite a sea of ungood. I live in a frat, and they make a lot of gay jokes that while they didn't make me feel great didn't feel at all actually hateful, just kinda crappy. Anyways after a big round of exams we all went to the bars and I got blasted and began texting my friend who knew I was gay about the hottest guy I had ever seen. Something along the lines of I have found the reason I was made gay and it is this beautiful blonde man three tables down from me. I have seen him since when not out of my mind and he was still pretty hot. Thing is I sent that to the house group me and not my little friend groups group me. I immediately panicked and watched in horror as the guys I were out with looked at their phones and then looked up to me. The much to my surprise they all started to cheer for me and congratulate me on coming out. They were all super supportive and bought me drinks and even tried to get the guy to come over and talk to me. It was a really great night. I got wasted and cried with happiness and relief. It was then that you realized, this whole time you were part of a gay fraternity. I first came out to my dad, sister, and two really close friends. One of those friends decided to tell pretty much everyone on our baseball team because, in his words, he wanted to warn them. I was really mad at him. My teammates started acting kind of weird around me, they stopped inviting me places, and things like that. It was my senior year of high school so I decided to just stick with it. I stopped being friends with the guy who outed me after that. He knew not to tell anyone and completely disrespected me. That's a butthole move by him. Especially when you placed so much trust in him. When I was 17 years old, I was out on the internet before I was ever ready to tell anyone else. Well, my older brother found out and immediately told my mother. I find out about this, because I get a call on my cell phone that day from my mother, and she just asks me, are you gay? She then blows up and cusses me out, and my brother shows up and like, literally drags me into the house. He acts like a gaping butthole and threatens the guy I was seeing, and my mother throws a tantrum and threatens to throw me in a detention home. I'm now 26 years old, my brother still doesn't really want anything to do with me, and my mother and I are mostly okay with each other. We just don't really bring up the gay thing, but it does comes up when she gets pee off at me, as a little personal attack she likes to throw at me. Her favorite insult for me is coxica. LOL. Like she never suck a dong. When I was around 15 I came to terms with the fact that I was gay and confided in one of my best friends at the time. She was completely cool with it, as I knew she would be, but I still wasn't ready to come out to everyone else yet and asked her to keep it a secret. One day she got upset with me over something, as teenage girls are wont to do, and out of spite she passed a note to another one of our friends telling him that I was a lesbian. I intercepted it, but at that point he knew something was up and I was basically forced into telling him. As it turns out. He was also gay and it was something that made us even closer, and now he'll be the man of honor at my wedding this year. Sometimes the fear is just in your own head and people can surprise you. Talk about a plan backfiring. Not me but a friend was outed by, of all people, her therapist. She was 16 at the time. This dumbass therapist was convinced that since they were her parents they would learn to deal with it and love her anyway. Well. The friend's parents were immigrants in a culture religion that is, not cool with lesbians. So after they were told her parents start screaming at her in their language, so therapist can't even understand horrible things they're saying. She said she couldn't cope when her father essentially asked in the screams if she'd ever gone down on a woman. They proceeded to beat her and emotionally abuse and isolate her from her friends and GF for the next few years. She struggled a lot but had a family friend who was also secretly gay and helped her as best she could. But when all that crap first happened it was really bad. Oh my god that's fricked up. I don't know where this happened. But I thought it was illegal for a therapist to disclose that kind of information. Even if the patient is a minor. I hope your friend is doing better now. I was caught kissing my best friend by my music teacher at school, who was incidentally my ex-boyfriend's mother. She called my parents and outed me. It was not school policy to call parents of kids were kissing, 
There were many times other kids were caught doing a lot more and not reported. So it appears she made an exception in the name of homophobia. My best friend and I are girls so it's quite likely she was angry about me breaking up with her son for a girl. My parents are Christian so it did not go down well. I was kicked out of the house for several weeks and nearly failed my final two years of school. What a prick. I don't think it would have been her job to call your parents. I was outed as B on FB by a girl I went on a date with. Just a random comment on my status referring to our date. I told her what she'd done. She already knew I wasn't out because I didn't see the point as I'm mostly straight. And she apologized. She did it again two weeks later. Anyone who snitches about private things like that have no excuses. They're no way your friend. I found out one of my friends way back in elementary school was gay. But I never told anyone. I wouldn't tell anyone anything that could hurt the person who trusted me with that info. It would be flat out wrong. Not a white knight. Just a guy trying his best not to be a life ruining butthole. I worked for a medium sized company with offices in several cities, including Los Angeles. I wasn't public with my physical orientation at work. I got sent to LA for a few weeks to work out of the office there. I and a bunch of the guys went out with the boss, and the evening ended at a strip club in Hollywood. They have strippers that walk around and hang on you and talk, and you are supposed to keep tipping them if you want them to lavish attention on you. I told the girl who was talking to me that she wasn't going to get many tips from me because I was gay. She decided that she felt safe with me and started using me as a prop presumably to make the other guys in the club jealous. Leaning in and pressing her boobs on me, running fingers through my hair, grabbing my butt and all sorts of stuff. She slapped my butt when I got up to go to the bathroom and made it seem as she was being all steamy. Needless to say, my boss asked me the next day about how much money I had been throwing at her to get her so interested in me. I told him that I told her that I was gay, and she decided she just really liked me. The day after that, he recounted the story in splendid, glorious detail during a conference call between four cities and about 60 people, describing the smack that got virtually everyone in the bar to turn their head to see me cringe as my posterior was assaulted by a stripper with no filter because, pause for punchline, Graxley 2000 is gay, at least I didn't have to come out to anyone at work after that. When I was in high school I met a girl, and shortly after we became friends, I found out she was B, and I told her I was attracted to other girls. One thing led to another and in a few weeks we were together, or something like it. It was almost at the end of the school year and almost every day after school we would hang out, and that day we decided to go to her house because she wanted to show me her drum set. We were in a room at the back of the house. She was playing something and I was reading a magazine on the floor. We both decided we were hungry, and I asked her to help me up, and as she was close to me I pulled her closer and gave her a quick kiss. We shortly talked about something and went for the door. That's when my heart sank. Her father arrived home earlier than usual, heard her playing the drums, and went looking for her at the room we were in. I think he saw our kiss because the door was partly open, like he was waiting to see what we would do. Maybe he didn't believe what he saw and wanted to confirm it before he did anything. That's when things started going too fast for me. She tried to say something, but he just bolted away as fast as he could. She looked at me and started crying. I didn't know what to do, so I asked her if I should go, and she nodded with her head. I've never felt so powerless in my whole life. She walked me to the front door and said goodbye. I was trying to hold my tears and desperately trying to think of something to say or do, but I couldn't come up with anything. When I was two blocks away I just sat on the sidewalk and bawled my eyes out for a long time. We accidentally outed her to her family. It was just a dumb series of events none of us could predict, because we didn't hear when her father arrived. They were not okay with it, so we stopped seeing each other after class. We still talked at school, both of us just pretended nothing happened, but it didn't end there. Her father would randomly drive by the school to try and catch us together because he didn't trust her. She suffered from depression, so it made things a lot more difficult. She was one year ahead of me, and that was her last year at the school, so we just lost contact. I can only imagine what kind of heck she went after he caught us together. Not really a story about me, but it matches the question pretty well, and I was directly involved in it, so I feel like it still counts. God that hurts to read colon. 
I told my mom and told her how nervous I was that others would find out. She immediately called my father and told him and my sibling. She then called my school and my teachers. Then she found my old middle school science teacher who was a lesbian to tell her that I decided I was gay now. Years away from middle school, out of the blue, she came into my room and told me this while I wad slack jawed in horror. Then went on to talk about how rude the science teacher was for saying essentially up. Okay, did you want something or was that all you called to say? She saw how sick and terrified I was and went on to say how she knew I was scared so now this way it's over and I don't have to he scared anymore because she told everyone for me. This may sound like misplaced motherly love but she has since been diagnosed with borderline personality disorder and in reality wanted to use me to get more attention and it worked wonderfully. People stopped talking to me at school. Girls asked not to sit next to me. I tried to make new friends with a girl at my chem table and mentioned how we have matching binders and that I like band name too. She slammed her hands on the table and stood up suddenly and shouted, Skishkata do not flirt with me I am not gay with her hands up in the air in disgust. She demanded not to sit with me after that but I won't know as it started crying and ran out of the room. After that day I got used to the fact that girls wouldn't want to be friends with me. I still haven't made any female friends. I cut my hair short and wore only men's clothing for years. Met my current partner who is a man. Surprise I was actually bi. And really came out of my shell. Realized it was okay to do girl things and talk to girls and enter feminine spaces because I was a girl and my existence shouldn't be threatening to others. Still though. Fricked me up for about 5-6 years. This entire story is fricked but really. Comma to tell her that I decided that I was gay. Really. I dated a closeted guy in high school. At the time, I was closeted as well. His dad found out, and flipped crap. His dad called my dad. My dad and I went on a drive. Dad was as a very, very busy man. This never happened, and he told me you will be bullied by your peers much worse than you ever have been in the past. Should this get out, I believe his father is out of line in contacting me about this, but I do not dictate another's religious beliefs, and, I'm not about to start a fight related to morality. Now, I'm a busy man, and I've assured Mr. X that you will not go around his son, anymore. I don't want to hear another word pertaining to this situation. To me, he seemed very careful about not saying anything was wrong with what I had done, but was irked that another parent contacted him about it. While not a perfect reaction, he genuinely seemed concerned for my well-being. I had been severely bullied for my effeminate nature, he just didn't want for it to get any worse. He pretends this conversation never happened. This was 3 years ago. I'm in college, he asks me about a girlfriend constantly. I don't, nor will I ever have a girlfriend. I don't know a thing about your dad, but, as a dad, I wonder if this asking you about a girlfriend is his way of doing two things. Letting you know that your secret is still safe with him. Giving you an opening to talk about it tell him about a boyfriend without hounding you. Just my two cents. When I was about 18 my best friend and I decided to date. Our family found out and freaked out. I'm a girl. I was kicked out, but got the easy end of the stick. She got to stay, but her family made her a virtual prisoner. They took her car, and refused to give her more money than absolutely necessary. She couldn't work without her car. Public transportation is terrible where we are from. She couldn't take it anymore and broke up with me. I couldn't blame her. I wish I could have taken care of her too. But I was barely surviving myself. To get the heat off she dated guys. This was really hard and it was impossible for us to be platonic friends. I felt like I could never move on from her if she was still in my life so I called her and told her I had to break it off completely. She was p and said I was being an butthole. Eventually I dated someone new, and she stopped trying to talk to me. I worked full time and went to school full time. Despite my busy life I missed her so much. Every time something occurred in my life my first thought was that I wanted to tell her, in a non-creepy way. I would talk to her every day in my head. I did this for over a decade. One day I couldn't take it anymore. I wrote her a letter telling her I'm sorry and hoping to catch up. 
I didn't have her number anymore so a letter was the only way. I sent it to her parents house and forgot about it. A year later I got a Facebook request from her sister. We chatted and she told me that her sister got my letter but was still angry with how I ended our friendship. She never got over it and said I broke her heart. I didn't press the issue and made plans to hang with her sister. When she got to my apartment and I opened the door, there she, my friend, was. He sister convinced her to see me. We clicked instantly and it was like she was in my life the whole time. We caught up and were once again inseparable. We were both single and quickly realized that we were still in love. It's been 3 years and she is sleeping next to me as I type. I'm currently saving up for an engagement ring and I'm so happy knowing that she will say yes. That's freaking awesome. I meant to text my other gay friend but I tweeted on accident instead that the popular jock guy from our school was at the gym doing squats and I couldn't handle that beautiful butt. Didn't realize my mistake till a few hours later. I deleted the tweet but the damage was done. Some people teased me about it for about a week. I think most people saw it coming anyway, and I never looked that guy in the eye ever again. My mom outed me to my sister like a week before I was ready to do it. She was already out, but damn it, I wanted to come out with a pun. My mom found out by stalking my Facebook when I was still figuring myself out. I thought I was B at the time so that's what I had put it as. She screamed at me and harassed me about it. I wasn't planning on telling her ever so for her to find out was horrifying. She was super homophobic and just a horrible person so any chance she got she'd give me crap. I remember one time talking to my sister about someone I liked at the time. Some celebrity. And she overheard and basically yelled he wouldn't like you he likes girls. Not people like you. Really cut me deep but I cut her out a year later and never regretted it. Good on you for being brave enough to cut her out. Hope you're doing alright now. I got outed this summer. A girl from work found a Twitter account of mine and then proceeded to out me to everyone. I should have been more careful about keeping my social media private but I didn't think that anyone would care. I work with kids and they're usually really cool about the LGBTQ community. This girl is a few years older than me and apparently she does care. My life is pretty uneventful but she thought that my life is so exciting that she couldn't even sleep the night she found my account. Not only did she out me but she did so knowing that it wasn't safe for me to be out. My school is very liberal but I live in a fairly rural area where anyone who doesn't fit into the status quo. Straight white Christian is considered rather odd. My mom is cool but my dad is very homophobic and after seeing a picture in the newspaper of two women kissing at pride threatened that if it was me or my little sister my horse would have an accident. I mentioned this incident on Twitter and apparently my co-worker told everyone this too because my bosses occasionally ask if things are okay with my dad. My bosses are wonderful people and have been nothing but supportive but it was still awkward for a while. Things have gotten back to normal for the most part though. My co-worker still hates me and has made multiple fake accounts to try to add me on social media but I have people who love and support me so it's all good. In the summer after 7th grade, I had a schoolmate over for a slumber party. She thought it would be fun to hear some entries from my diary at the time. We had gotten so close over the past 2 years at school that I didn't think she'd be opposed to me being B. Well, when we finally got to 8th grade, a lot of my friends were acting really weird around me and classmates I didn't even speak to were always whispering when I was around. Finally someone told me what people were saying and I knew it was her cause at the time only her, my best friend, my cousins and my mom knew. I'm assuming I was the first gay person that most of them had ever known or heard of. Kids stopped talking to me, wouldn't hang out at recess, made fun of me in class, and were just awful all around for no reason. My best friend was the only person who would be seen with me. She didn't even care that people started rumors that we were dating. Those rumors didn't die till we went to separate high schools. It was really hard for me. I was too young to be experiencing the isolation, bullying, and depression that I was. I spiraled downward and started self-harming. I attempted suicide a couple times over the next couple years, but around age 16 when I was finally out of that environment and surrounded by much better people, 
I was finally able to begin to love myself again. My then best friend is still my best friend and we recently went to a quasi reunion with those classmates over the holidays together. She texted me to ask if I would be her date. She said that Facebook ruined our chances of fooling everyone into thinking that we were now married, just to spite them for all the nasty things that they said back then. She's the reason I made it out of it alive. TLDR. Was outed in 8th grade. Became the class pariah for a couple years. Got depressed self-harmful, and suicidal. Finally got over it in 11th grade at a new school with better friends. My BFF since 4th grade held it down for me throughout it all too. I'm all good now. Your best friend sounds like an awesome person. Not quite related but a friend and colleague, at least later on. We had only met him the week prior, had recently come out as gay to his closest friends but was still in the closet to his parents and the world at large. Someone we worked with who was a very close friend of his was talking about him and described him to us and I wasn't able to figure out who it was so my wife said you know, the gay one. And I went to yeah. She didn't mean it as offensive or anything but the other girl looked so upset. How did you know? He only told Emmy last Wednesday. Double quote. My wife looked at me, nervously and said, Cause I've met him? It was a real news to no one as far as we could tell. Never occurred to us someone as camp as him wouldn't be out. TL. DR. Me and the wife apparently had the highest precision gator at our previous jobs. Some people are just better at picking up subtle clues. Not me, but my sister. My sister accidentally left her email logged in on my parents computer. My mother snoops. All the time. Always. So she found emails for her gf. Now wife. And lost her flaming mind. She pulled her college funding. Kicked her out of the house. Took back the car she'd been given. And literally told people she was dead. As in hey how's your daughter she died. She threatened to kill my now sister in law and called her the creature. It was bad. The school loans were an absolute mess because my parents had co-signed the loans and then cancelled them. Luckily she was able to get funding and didn't have to miss any schooling. She's back to being the golden child in the family. Largely because I'm a mess. Which is as it should be. It took about 5 years or so for my parents and sister to begin speaking again. A lot of therapy for my mother. So much therapy. Once she was done therapy I told her that her therapist was transgender and she shat a brick. Probably should not have done that. My sister and her now wife had a small commitment ceremony almost 10 years ago. When civil unions were legalized, they had another small ceremony. When marriages were finally legalized federally, they had another small wedding. These all occurred on different dates. They celebrate each one. My sister-in-law has been invited to family functions, but is, I think justifiably, terrified of my family after 4 years of death threats and the fact that my parents own just so 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 many guns. My sister and her wife just bought a house. They're living the American dream basically. Your mom sounds kind of awful. Dang. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.